James Lynch here for MMAOddsBreaker.com. I am with Darren Cruikshank, UFC lightweight. Darren, tell us what you're doing here today. Uh, I have a fighter. Uh, well, yeah, Mike Hernandez fought tonight. He trains uh, with me. He's a he's a uh, great fighter, and he's training on Michigan Top Team. So that's why we're all here to support him. Now I got to ask another UFC fighter who is here cornering a fighter happens to be your opponent at UFC on Fox 16, uh, James Kraus. Uh, have you run into him at all? Is it kind of weird a little bit? It's not weird. I mean, it's business. It's not. A, it's not a street fight. So there's no animosity or anything like that. Um, we both have respect for each other we, and, and each other's skills. So, uh, no, we've actually taken pictures, ran into each other a few times, and, and you know, the game will go on. We'll get to that matchup in a second, but uh, you know, you've been to Canada a couple times now. You were cornering Randa Marcos in her last fight at UFC 186. Is this your first time to Ontario? Uh, no, I've actually been to Hamilton before. Okay. Uh, I fought a, a long time ago before the UFC in Hamilton. So, you know, this is uh, kind of like my stomping ground area. And uh, what did you think of your fighter tonight, Mike Hernandez, coming into intermediate territory and, and getting the W? Uh, very impressive. Uh, what were your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, with Mike Hernandez, he's got some crazy power. He has uh, more power than most uh, 135ers, mm -hmm. and you know, you've seen that tonight. When he hits somebody, he goes down, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, and your team, Michigan Top Team, quietly amassing a pretty impressive record there. you got Jason Fisher, who's now the, the Hard Knocks lightweight champion, who won that title uh, you know, back in January. Uh, you know, just talk a bit about your team. Uh, you know, very underrated, in my opinion. Uh, my team, we basically were all orphans from different gyms in Michigan, and we all came together to create a, uh, a gym in Michigan that, you know, the guys didn't have to, once they got it to a certain level, didn't have to travel to get good training. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're building an army, and uh, we're all killers, and we're coming after everybody. And we talked about the fight with James Krause uh, coming up uh, here. Uh, have you started camp for that? Uh, are you going to be training primarily at, uh, with the uh, Michigan top team for this one? Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, my support system's at home, and... I might go here and there every couple weekends just to dabble with people I don't care about. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I, I train for my fights in my gym in, uh, in, in Michigan. When this fight was announced, you must have been pretty excited. Krauss is a guy who definitely likes to stand and trade. You're the same type of guy. You don't have to worry about it going to the ground necessarily because Krauss likes to stand and bang, like I just said. Uh, are you pretty excited for this matchup? Yeah, I mean, I feel like every fight that I'm in is a fight for the fans. So, mm -hmm. you know, watch uh, for some fireworks. And uh, with both you guys, you know, coming off losses, do you feel like there's going to be a sense of urgency coming into this one from uh, from both fighters? I'm like a goldfish. I don't really remember any. I've never lost in my mind, so mm -hmm. kind of like a Cartman uh, complex. So uh, I'm just going to go out there, do my thing, and and whenever I show up, I show up with my 100. Uh, percent You see it. And it's, it'll be on ESPN knockouts of the night or something like that. There you have it, Darren Cruikshank, UFC lightweight here at Global Warriors here in Burlington.